There we go. Okay, he's engaged. We're backed up. The car's gone. Oh. <laughs> okay, the car is really gone. Um, you appear like this is not going to work. Nope, that absolutely did not work. Okay, when in doubt, plan B. Forming the duties of his office. Of Digby C. Caesar. No. Well, hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. I am Digby, and today we're back in Polyrome, and the plan for today is actually a very simple one. We are going to go explore the new... Well, I was going to call it the new swamp biome, but yeah, we're going to go explore the new biome, aka the new bayou. And hopefully, while we are there, we are going to kill... What's your name, dude? Uh, nope, I want to pick up that thing, please, and thank you. Okay, yep, yeah, let's kick it out of there. Shape Boss. Okay, do you have an actual name? Okay, yeah, it's Dr. Morphe. So we are going to go basically through the forest as quickly as possible. We are going to hopefully kill... I can't remember who we got to kill in there. Oh, yeah, okay, we got Fluffy the Wolf. So we are going to drive through the forest as quickly as possible. We are going to kill Fluffy, well, as quickly as possible. We are going to keep an eye out for a zombie wearing a plaid shirt because that's going to be the guy that gives us the engine repair helper thing and I'm pretty sure that's in the forest biome is where we saw it the first time in episode is either episode one or episode two but yeah we ended up dying then so we didn't get to keep him now really quick before we take off let's see what we got in our completion chest okay we got food you know what I will take food food is always good and we got an exit sign and some triangles okay you know what you can just go over there with all the rest of them and I'll worry about you later Oh, and we're going to have to keep an eye out for, like, GTO parts, too, because we still need two wheels and a hood, and then we should have an actual functional GTO, which is what, I mean, ideally, I would very much like to do the rest of our travels in this car. But for now, we're going to be taking the Dodge. I'm going to head out across there, and as soon as we get to the swamp, and you can't actually see me here at home, but I am crossing my fingers like crazy that there's not going to be the friggin' desert or the winter biome after the forest... I mean, if there is, I'll deal with it, but yeah. One way or the other, I will see you guys in the swamp. We will check out the highlights from our travels through the forest biome. So, let me just get my magic editing wand out. Holy sh**. Alright, well, there's the thumbnail sorted. <laughs> oh, I love that that's a thing. Okay, well, the best part of all of that was we actually did get the engine guy. So, engine guy, I'm going to stand you over here for right now. Your and you are going to hopefully... Bling, bling. Oh, you know what? I am so sorry, dude. I absolutely no forgot you have dialogue. Engines think I'm a magician. 
I sincerely hope so, because I have one in desperate need of repair. And, ah, oh, thank God, you're not going to charge me zombie coins. Okay, you repair my big block, and I will put that back in there. Stones for engines. Yep, stones for engines sounds good to me. Oh, and by the way, we did find another Hank the Hood ornament as well. Okay, I'm going to get you out of there. No, I want to... Okay, yeah, it's in my inventory, so I just want to put this thing over here. I think these are the semi-good engines, so I'm going to drop this one, I'm going to pick this one up, and then we're going to go get the guy to repair this as well. Oh, this is so glorious. Okay, dude, my you pleasure. are... Oh, thank you. You are absolutely 100% coming with me. You are now what I would consider to be mandatory equipment. All right, you go in there. Car, you need an engine, so let's sort that out. Um... Okay, hold on. Did you get mounted? You did. Ah, but you have no oil in you. So which one of you guys actually needed... Oh, no, I want a shotgun in that slot. Thank you. Yeah, which one of you guys needed a blueprint? Was it... It wasn't the paint guy. It was Only probably you. Yeah, whatever. I don't even want to listen to you talk. You were so bloody annoying. Okay, we can make a safe. We can do a thing. Okay, where are the crate things that you had that I could build? Crates in a safe. Are you going to actually tell me what the safe does? Okay, that's 5 storage, that's 20 storage. But you don't actually appear to need a blueprint. Is this I a thing like they one. unlock automatically, maybe? You're a charge Only guy. What about use. you, food dude? Do you have anything you need a blueprint for? Sodasaurus, what do you do? 25% water. Ooh, that's actually very tempting. Treat your hot dog with respect. Whatever, dude. Okay, do you have anything in here that requires a blueprint? You do not. Everything has a function. Yeah, thank you. So you're done, paint guy. You just make paint. You do food. We already sorted out. You need a blueprint. I don't remember what Hello you there. do. Oh, car guy. Yes. Okay, if you've got things I can use, you are definitely going to be the blueprint. So the battery required a blueprint. Do we have any good wheels? The Jess wheels. Oh, do you have a Jess hood while we're at it? Okay, tripper door, door, Carl hood, room door, grandpa door, Carl thing. I don't see a uh, trunk there, my friend. Okay, you can make a little, like a friggin' Russian car. Okay, what does the barrel actually do? Oh my god, we have an explosive barrel we can play with? Oh, you know what, I've got a spare blueprint. So, if I click and drag this over here, does that actually do a thing? Hit the road it does after, not. Whatever your name is. Okay, look, dude, before it gets dark, I say this, it's already desperately dark. I would really love to, uh, you must figure this out. out this loop. Okay, hold on real quick. It's too freaking dark for me to see. Give me one second. Oh, okay. I just got to, uh, right-click on it while I have a blueprint in my inventory. Okay, so basically we've got large coolant, which I find those all the time. Perfect power, I find those all the time. You don't have any of the Jessica stuff. Oh, I don't know if you noticed it or not over here in my inventory, but we do actually have two Jessica wheels I found. And then we can have a barrel, an explodey barrel, Stay a jerry focused. can. You're just a thing. You do a giant soda I don't really care about. You're the paint station. And the engine guy and the gun guy don't need a blueprint, right? Do you need a blueprint and Fire I maybe missed it? louder than words. No. Okay, AK, oh, AFK-47, sorry, requires a blueprint. Then we got the Colby requires a blueprint. The fat boy, I've actually already got one, it's fine. It's ammunition that I would actually like to get, my friend. Okay, now you're selling those. Ooh, we can do propane tanks, I didn't know that was a thing. And you do the desert rare. It's the bullet time. Oh, you know what? We're going to unlock the explodey barrel. I'm going to buy an explodey barrel because I really want to know what the friggin' explodey barrel does. Please stop interrupting me while I'm talking. Okay, now, really quick. we got to put the GTO wheels on the GTO. Like so. Ooh, okay. You are definitely coming along there, my friend. Oh, here's a thought, too. You probably don't need a little weedy engine when you can have... Well, basically, I have a huge selection of V8s here. Okay, drop that. Drop the one we accidentally picked up. Now, which one is bigger? We've got the... Well, you know what? Grab that one. Grab the Angie. Let's see which one has more horsepower. 
Okay, that's 75 horsepower. This bad boy is 85. So, Angie, you can stay in the barn. You, you can go in the GTO once I get the engine guy back out. All right, let's just chuck that in the GTO. Do I have a coolant jug? I do not. Well, you know what? Not going to worry about that. We've actually got the GTO like 80% done. So, you know what? Let's hit the road and let's go check out the swamp. Okay, I was actually starting to think we weren't going to find any houses. Um, hello people. No, now see, I was going to park and get out and actually shoot you. You leave my car alone, thank you very much. Okay, let's, uh, whoops, that was not what I wanted to do. Yeah, look, stop the car, hop out, grab your shotgun, slot three, thank you. Okay, I got you. Eh, car should be fine right there. Okay, your toast, and... Hello. Your toast. Okay, it's already getting bloody dark, so I'm gonna pull the car over here, we're gonna grab some sleep really quick, and then in the morning, we will check this place out. The next day. Okay, we are back. Now, this actually looks like it might be... I was gonna say, it looks like it might be a pretty decent hunting blind. Although, we've had really good luck with the shanty, so I might just keep that. I mean, the one advantage the shanty has over this thing is that the shanty is actually large enough to expand into the pen. But, this is actually a pretty cool little place. Now, what do you got in here that's good? We got a straw bale. We got a urinal. That's, uh, off to a promising beginning. And we've got... Compost. Okay, what am I supposed to do with compost? I have no idea. You know what? Compost, you can stay here. Right, here's a thought. Let's just uh, shrink this place down really quick. Let's see what else we've got. We've got an outhouse with nothing in it. Swamp grass we can have if we want our lawn to look like crap. Hello. <laughs> the urinal went to space. Okay, and then we got a crappy gun we don't care about. We've got some bullets we will definitely grab because they look like they'll fit the machine gun. Then we've got a ton of gas. Yes, please. Another stupid bale of weed. Water, I don't actually need. Machine gun bullets I'll take, though. And we got more water I don't actually need. Okay, when the hell is that? Transformer. Oh, you mean like a power thing, so it's just a thing we can recycle? Interesting. I don't know what you'd get for it, but... Well, you know what? We might as well, while we're here... I mean, we don't really need the uh, coins or anything anymore, but we could find out what we're going to get for this stuff. And we got broken crates. Ooh, hello, we got a big engine, and it's 98% durability already. That's the 85 horsepower one, so you know what? We'll keep you. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, we've got to have a casket. Ooh, propane, hold on. We can try that as well. So yeah, you go in there like that. Alright, now, I know we get coins and things for the important stuff, like the gas can. Okay, so that's four zombie coins. The transformer is going to give us seven and seven, so that's actually kind of garbage. Compost is worth seven and seven. Urinal is worth seven and seven. Casket is also seven and seven, but you know what? We're keeping the casket. So we'll scrap the urinal. The gas can, the transformer, the compost. 
We'll put that back down. Oh, actually, no. We're going to put the propane in our inventory really quick. But we're going to scrap that garbage first. Did I forget to do a little camp? I might have forgotten to do a little camp. Okay, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put that there. I'm going to pick this up before I forget it. And then we're going to hope, like crazy, that uh, the range of explosion on the propane is not that great. Because we are actually fairly close to it. So let me grab my gun that can actually hit things from distance. Okay, are we ready for this? In three, two, one. Yeah, try that again, Digby. Okay, that's actually got a fair bit of power. Now, the guy that makes the propane is... the guy back at the house. Crap. All right, well, note to self, the guy we got the bombs from, we definitely want to buy some propane tanks from, because I think that might be a tactic we can use. In fact, I'm kind of curious now to see how it would work against one of the boss monsters. Uh, Dr. Morphe, you and I might need to do a bit of... Science. Okay, your front door is actually blocked by a tree. You've got caution signs. I do not want to drive in there yet. Thank you. All right, Digby, stop car, hit Q, hop on out. Now, you're going to be at distance, so I am thinking the bullets I want are machine gun bullets. Need some weapons, right? I do indeed, my friend. I need as many of these as you can give me. Kind of like so. It's the bullet time. Yes, yes it is. Now, what are the odds the original trick of pushing them across the way and then backing up and shooting them is actually going to work. Okay, well, hold on, let me get organized and then we'll try that first. So we're going to drive in, we're going to boopy back across the way, we're going to back up quickly, 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 Digby, quickly. Alright, now, park up against the fence, shut the car off, hop on out, say goodbye to the car. Well, we'll say goodbye to the car as soon as we actually get within range of you and engage you. Okay, let me make sure I've got my range damages on. Absolutely perfect. Alright, we'll put you in there for luck. We've got the house if we need it, so if he starts coming after us, we're going to basically throw the house down and jump up on there. Okay, shut the door so we don't actually lose it. <sighs> okay, dude, are you ready to get shot? Okay, not from there. There we go. Okay, he's engaged. We're backed up. The car's gone. Oh, <laughs> okay, the car is really gone. Um, you appear like this is not going to work. Nope, that absolutely did not work. Okay, when in doubt, plan B. Um, no, oh my god, you know what I did? I actually scrapped the wrong house. Uh, nope, put you down. Thank you. I want to stand on the roof, please. Okay, now, dude, just tell me you can't get me from here and we're all good. Yeah, hi. Yeah, bye. I think I'm gonna park on you. That's how much disrespect I have for your corpse. Okay, now, really quick, let's get the bullet guy out. Let's get some bullets. Shoot first, ask questions later. Exactly. Give me some machine gun bullets. That should be plenty, I would think. Actually, it's not gonna matter anyway. For diplomats, not for adventurers. Thank you. I was gonna say, actually, it's not gonna matter anyway because I'm gonna have you in my inventory and I can use you later if I have to. So. Multiple stage plan B. Now, the first thing we're going to do, actually, Jimbo, is I'm going to get my gun back out. There we go. Okay, we're empty-handed. Now, Dr. Morphy is right there. And I can actually push him all... Oh, hello, what the hell is this? Oh, is that what was up with the alien bugs this whole time? Okay, so what if I was to come over here on this side? Make sure the door is directly between me and you. And then we put our little shanty, which I still cannot believe I actually got rid of the friggin' uh, house that I had that I wanted. But yeah, let's put this down right about here-ish. Hopefully a little bit of that's going to be inside of the pen. It is. Now, can I open this window and shoot out of it? Oh, crap. 
I think I've discovered a fundamental flaw in this thing as a hunting blind. Okay, well, can I actually get up on the porch and then make my way up onto the roof? Um, hello, I was not expecting to see you yet. Go away. That's not the helper I wanted. Damn it. Hey, when the hell was that? What are you? Where did you come from and why did you fall over? Space junk. Oh my god, this stuff falling from the friggin' sky isn't there. Alright, well, actually, can I... I'm trying to think if there's a way I can recompress this so that I can fire through the walls. Yeah, watch out for the friggin' hole. Oh, hold on, we actually have a little tiny hole right there we might be able to shoot through. Alright, well anyway, the plan is basically I'm going to push him back up to here, and then I'm going to actually back out of there, because the thing didn't lock up as soon as he was over. Then we're going to try and climb up on this thing, and then we're going to engage him from hopefully just outside the pen. I mean, worst case scenario, we should be on the roof inside the pen, which is acceptable as well. Now, I also kind of want to, and I don't know if I can do it. Oh, you know what? I can do it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got an even better plan. Um, oh, crap. I forgot stamina is a thing. Okay, let's just drop through here really quick. Let's get our explosive barrel out. Let's put that right about there-ish. Okay, now let's go hop in the car and push him back across and see what kind of chaos we can create. Alright, so dude, we're going to push you over there, back up quickly, back up quickly, back up quickly. In fact, Digby, back right clean out of the pen. Perfect. Now, stop the car, hop on out. Yeah, that's about as good as I could ask for right there. Alright, you, my dude, you stay put. Shoot, I fell out. This is not good. Okay, I'm now trapped in the pen. So, how about you? No. Oh, for God's sake, look. You lot, go away. Go away. Shoot, I forgot to reload. Where did my barrel go? Did he destroy my friggin' barrel? How dare you? Okay, can't jump back out. You know, that was a really solid plan up to a point. No, I want my actual machine gun. Where the hell's my machine gun? I got machine gun bullets. Okay, that hurt a lot. You go away. I'm just gonna sit here and pump bullets into him until we die. Kinda sucks though. I was hoping to see what the barrel might do. Okay, now let's get the house set up. Maybe this time not screw it up. I mean, if you're just going to sit there, my dude, I could kind of put this right about... Is it going to actually let me do it here? It is going to let me do it here. Okay, we're up on the roof, which is about as close to safe as we're probably ever going to get. And you are directly below me. I haven't engaged you at all. Oh, hello, I'm falling off of this roof. Thank you, don't do that. Don't do that, please and thank you. That's not the right gun, hold on. Okay, we got the right gun. We are completely reloaded. Explody barrel, what do you do? You do 2% damage. That is not sufficient. And now I am stuck with just this little tiny bit of a roof that I can stand on. Okay, just tell me you can't get me from here, my dude, and we are all good. I am really, really tired of falling off of this house. Hi! Where the hell did you come from? Okay, get out of my house. Now, really quick, let's eat something, because that was really stupid. Ah, damn it, I was on the roof and I was fine. Note to self, he can definitely get you inside the house. Okay, so, the bad news is we didn't actually get the coffin this time. However, the good news is, not only did we find a bunch of cool stuff like we now have a PC, although the thought occurs I don't have a monitor, a keyboard, or a mouse. But yeah, we also got a couch, we got a cannon, which is kind of cool. And we have our hunting blind back. So, dude, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, actually, I'm going to run around here. Oh, hold on, though. If I set the house up now, I'm not going to be able to push him back. Oh, you know what? I think we actually probably only need the house. 
So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to very carefully... Whoop, we overshot the uh, backside there. Yeah, I'm going to very carefully get in here. Oh, shoot. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to get the uh, massive uh, explody barrel. Okay, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. The key is we actually have our friggin' hunting hut now. So, I should be able to put this right about there. Hop onto the roof. Expand this in there. And now, you wretched fool, I should be high enough off the ground that you can't actually hit me. So, dude, prepare to engage. Yeah, come over here. Just tell me you can't hit me from here. That's the bit I want to know. Oh, crap, he can hit me from there. Okay, I'm starting to think the devs might actually watch my videos, because every time I find an exploit, they patch it. Well now, this just got a lot more interesting. One hour later. Okay, yeah, I actually do have an emergency evil backup plan, which I think is going to work. But I wanted to give this one more go before we tried it. So we're going to go with shotgun. Let's just sit here and blast the crap out of you. What did you just do to my house? 12 seconds later. Alright, let's try evil plan B. 